<clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Scrivo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Wednesday, May 18th, and the moon uh, actually just shifted into Capricorn at 8.03 a.m. on the east coast of the U.S. Um, while we were all sleeping, well, not all of us, I guess, but while I was sleeping, <laughs> uh, Mars made its biennial conjunction to Neptune. Um, these conjunctions occur every two years. Mars, of course, uh, and this, of course, happened in Pisces because that's where Neptune is. Um, Mars in Pisces can be a little confusing, generally, and, and then you add Neptune to it, um, and it sort of expands that. So if you're feeling a little... Um, like you're not exactly sure where to go, what to do. Um, you might find yourself sort of walking around your house and, and not really sure why you walked into a room. You know, stuff like, stuff like that. Um, this, this conjunction is actually wonderful for things like music and dancing and creativity and imagination. Um, and it is a two-year cycle. So this is a, uh, a planting of a seed. Neptune, of course, is the energy of source. It's the energy of uh, cosmic consciousness. And it's as if we're getting our marching orders from, um, from spirit, actually. Um, one of the dangers of this combination is that uh, we can get easily confused and um, there's a certain amount of faith that this that this takes that we 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 know what we're doing or that we're going in the right direction, um, and an ability to uh, um, be adaptable in this case, but not necessarily a bad thing. Just uh, if you're feeling like it would be easy to get lost today because you're losing because you've lost your sense of direction. And it does require us to uh, look within. Meditation is a great way to work with this energy. Um, and it's not the kind of right off the blocks energy that you would see with, say, Mars and Uranus or even Mars and Jupiter. Um, it is, um, there's a certain amount of beingness that has to happen at this time. So, be with the moment today. Um, it can um, can be very inspirational. So I know you saw those are the uh, wisteria over by the shed, and now we have the wisteria here behind the house, which is really starting to bloom now. It smells really pretty. The bees love it. Everybody loves it. Um, and we also have some that made it into the our little wild, <laughs> our wild, it's really a hole in the ground, but uh, it was supposed to be a, a pond many, many years ago, but we were more ambitious the money we had. So we have this giant, uh, now it's actually a microclimate. It was supposed to be a, a pond, but now it's a mi microclimate and all kinds of critters live in there. So it works out. But we also have some wisteria, and I just have to watch where I'm going so I can't see where I'm putting the camera. I don't know if you can see it at the top of that. It's actually a rose bush right in front of us, right at the top there, there's some wisteria. So uh, so yesterday was, uh, I don't know if you, you vibed it from me, but yesterday I was really struggling with the whole thing, um, with the energy of the... Uh, the massacre in Buffalo, it sort of brought back all the same feelings of the uh, the George Floyd incident and all the other ridiculous uh, and unnecessary suffering that the black community has to endure for no good reason. So, but today I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic and uh, hopefully we can just move from this point and do things better. That back there, the white, is actually another dogwood. 
that's self-seeded. So a lot of stuff in this yard just grows <laughs> on its own. Of course, we let it. That's probably why, right? We don't stop it. But um, so have yourself a wonderful day. Uh, the Capricorn, um, the, the, I think one of the benefits of the day is the fact that the moon's in Capricorn. And so with the moon in Capricorn, um, there's work to be done. And we were going to roll up our sleeves and we're going to do the work no matter how hard it is to get it done, to make the changes and the, the difference that we need to make. So there's our lovely dogwood. It's a beautiful day. Cool, breezy, not too buggy. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite time of the year because of that. All the beauty and the green and the flowers but less mosquitoes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dogwood days. We'll call this the dogwood days of spring. Dogwood days of spring. All right, guys. Have yourself a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe. Um, um, an announcement for those of you who have uh, want, to, want to join or have paid for the uh, Beginner's Kabbalah. I'm actually going to start it next Wednesday. I will send you a, a, an email, of course. Uh, we'll set. We'll start it next Wednesday. Give, give my, give my uh, people another a week. I kind of did the announcement a little bit too close to the start date. That was my own fault, and a couple of Mercury retrograde things happened when I was trying to put it on the, the website. So instead of the Kabbalah class starting today, the 18th, it's going to be starting uh, next. Wednesday next Wednesday so all right guys have yourself a wonderful day I'll see you again tomorrow take care everyone namaste